my channel my name is Melody and welcome to my Simple Valley home in this video I'm excited to share with you guys my Christmas home tour this year I was inspired by using a lot of elements involving country farmhouse decor I love these decorations I use this year especially being originally from the Midwest they made me feel more at home I hope you guys enjoy it and love it just as much as I did if you guys are new to my channel again my name is Melody and on my channel I love to decorate with farmhouse decor thrifting cooking and gardening okay friends before we go start the tour I wanted to do a really cool giveaway for you guys just to say thank you so much for stopping by the first prize winner will receive this chenille blanket it's red it's got some poinsettias some pine cones and it has a $25 gift card the second prize winner will also receive this really beautiful soft chenille blanket as well it's green and it's got some pine trees so the question to my giveaway is how many pine needle trees do I have in my home not pictures of trees and not ceramic trees, pine needles. All the details for this contest will be linked in my description box down below, so please go check that out. And then also I want to let you guys know, please stay till the end of my video because I'll be featuring a night tour of my home and how beautifully it decorated, it's warm and cozy. So if you guys enjoy Christmas videos and holiday Christmas tours, please give this video a thumbs up, grab your coffee, hot cocoa, and let's start the tour. Okay, welcome to my entryway. Let me give you guys a little bit of information about our home. We live in a 1950 style cottage house in Southern California. We love our home. It brings us so much joy. It has so much character and we love adding touches of our own personality in this home to make it feel like our own. So to start off on my entryway, I really wanted to achieve a cozy country rustic feel with touches of Christmas tradition. So with my sign here, I wanted to create something different than your usual sign. I wanted to create like a layered look. So I added this typewriter's box and filled it in with all my vintage items that I've had over the years, including a couple touches of my own ornaments from my childhood tree. And I layered it with this Merry Christmas sign from the Lakeside Collection. Super easy, but very dramatic. I also wanted to add my Santa Claus. I love him, he is adorable. I got him from my mom about four years back and we just love the countdown effect. You know, we love coming in here every day and then changing the numbers and getting anxious until Christmas comes. I added a simple bulb, some bottle bush trees to make him look like he's in the forest. And I always have my lamp out. And then I added this mercury glass candle with some berries and bells. Of course, I always have my cow, Betty. I love her. But my favorite piece that I got this year was this sled. I got it from Etsy and it's made out of rustic barn wood and I simply just put some greenery with some lights just to add texture. And of course, I love my wicker boxes here, my presents. Super cute, super fun. Definitely has a cozy feel when you walk in. And it just brings us so much joy every time we look at it, especially I can't get enough of this sled. Welcome to our living room. 
This place is one of our favorite places to gather, especially during the holiday season. We love to come here and open up our Christmas presents. We also love to watch holiday movies such as National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I always love to make this space extra cozy, extra comfortable. Obviously, you can see that Lola is extra comfortable. And the pillows is definitely one item that I love to decorate with, especially adding different types of textures, feels, such as the plaid and velvet, making it super cozy. This space is also my favorite because of my barn doors that my dad built me and my balances. I love decorating up there, it's so much fun. I get very creative, especially at night when this place is lit up, it's just so cozy and warm. For my pillows this year, I wanted to use a lot of velvet, some gingham, so these pillows are from Amazon. I love this blanket that I got this year. I got this from Home Goods, and adding this Joy Pillow from Kirkland's was just the perfect touch, it was the perfect match. I love all the textures and feels that this brings. Another pillow from Amazon. This uh, quilted blanket back here was a gift from my mom, so adding that country feel definitely helped bring in this space. And again, more pillows. tables this year I wanted to add a lot of traditional Christmas elements and textures and some woodsy feels so to start off with is this wood tray I got from Park City Utah and I added some traditional greenery and just a candle dome over in this space I love to add different types of heights as well added a texture such as a doily a candle and this book I got recently thrifted and it has, it says Christmas story and I think it's so precious. These wood trees are from Decor Steels this year. I love adding different types of pictures just to make it warm and cozy. Me and my husband love adding our personal touches in these pictures. And I added this arrangement and I love the berry detail and also the pine cones. It just ties in perfectly with this tree. To add that country element to my tree this year, I added some homemade ornaments. I simply used some styrofoam balls wrapped it in fabrics. I also added some texture with burlap and berries, and of course I must have my farmhouse style ornaments. This tree is also a hand-me-down tree from my mother-in-law a couple years back. When I received it, it literally looked like a Charlie Brown tree, so adding tons of different types of fillers definitely made it fluffy and full. I have a YouTube video up if you guys are interested on how I decorated this tree. It is a decorate with me video on my tree and my living room. Decorating this balance every year is such a treat. Adding different elements such as these glass ball jars and pine cones adds a nice texture. This Merry Christmas sign is a recent purchase from Kirkland's. This brass sled was a gift from my aunt. It was my grandmother's. To add that perfect sparkle, I added this lamp. It's a recent find from Home Goods. This Pottery Barn cabinet is extra special to me because it holds all my knickknacks that I love to collect. To add that special texture and height, I added this vintage suitcase and this picnic basket full of greenery. This cabinet is filled with so many items, including some special gifts, such as this vintage church. It was received to me from my mom this year. I remember seeing it as a child, and now I have it to pass down in my family one day.
with that final touch in my living room, I wanted to create a winter effect. So I added that icy look to my vintage windows with some flock spray. I think it turned out really pretty. Welcome to my kitchen, the place where we entertain, the family gatherings, and of course all the cooking. I love my kitchen so much because of all the farmhouse details including my farmhouse sink, my DIY lamps that my dad had made me, and all the special touches over the years. In my kitchen this year I wanted to keep those traditional colors, and decorating a useful vignette is a must. Using different types of elements such as this wood slice that I thrifted and also adding touches of vintage Christmas such as these home good plates and canisters created that special touch. This cute primitive tea towel was a gift from my mom. I have one for every holiday season. I look forward to adding them every year. To carry on those wood tones throughout my kitchen, I found this spoon rest from Etsy. It's made out of carved wood. It's gorgeous. I wanted to do something different with my hot cocoa bar this year, so I added some vintage touches such as this jello mold. I created a centerpiece. I got the hot cocoa sign from Etsy, this marshmallow canister from a thrift store. For my K-cups, I used this stand and it just so happened to fit perfectly. I usually keep my seasonings on them. For that final touch to make this space extra sweet, I added this faux cocoa mug. My husband actually thought it was real and he was fairly disappointed when he found out it wasn't. I love adding wreaths to my cabinets, so to carry on more of those traditional colors, I used more of those wreaths from Joann's. It created that perfect texture and warmth. When attaching my wreaths, I simply used a command hook on the inside of the cabinet and then just hung up from the inside. In the corner of my kitchen, I love to decorate this vignette. Using this thrifted antique Christmas tree that me and my mom found at a thrift store added that nice touch. I love all the different colored lights and the birds, and plus it's painted in a unique green. Adding this copper container and leftover greenery and pinecone brought warmth to this space as well. In the corner of my kitchen, I love decorating this area for the holiday season. This Target basket is filled with different types of goodies over the years, such as this vintage Christmas tree. It was a gift from my mom. It was in her kitchen, and I'm glad to have it in mine. I also added this cheese grater with a gingerbread man and also a gingham bow. I love how it ties in with my country feel. He's adorable. To add lighting, I added this thrifted crock with leftover pine cones and just simply placed an LED light for lighting. For my buffet this year, I wanted to do something creative and different. So creating this gingerbread baking theme adjacent to my kitchen was the perfect thing. Adding different touches of reds, greens, and whimsicalness brought everything together. I wanted to create a focal piece on my buffet. So this vintage thrifted wine crate that I recently got on my thrift haul did the trick. I added some greenery, some lights from Hobby Lobby that have bottle brush trees in it, and to tie in the baking theme I thrifted a spoon and also added this tree baking sheet from a gift from my aunt. Now you can't have a gingerbread theme with a gingerbread man, so these little cuties are from Joann's. I love that they're farmhouse style. I just added them in some ball jars, some snow, and took some thrifted trees and hot glued some beads. Mm -hmm. 
To carry my gingerbread baking theme on my buffet, I also added this tray from Hobby Lobby. I love that it looks like a cookie cutter. This vintage barn inspired gingerbread house is from Joann's and again I just added more trees with beads. To put that final touch in this space is this vintage tree and I just had some leftover cookie cutters that I've collected along with some ornaments that I've also thrifted. Welcome to my dining room. This space is my creative space. I get to go a little bit extra when it comes to decorating my fireplace mantle, my dining room, and of course adding those extra touches on top of my balances. For my tablescape this year, I wanted to keep with those Christmas traditional colors along with some vintage touches. If you guys are interested in any of these items that I use to decorate my tablescape this year, including my DIY centerpiece, I have a decorate with me video up on my YouTube channel if you guys are interested. It was so much fun making that video, you guys definitely will be inspired. For my fireplace mantle, I wanted to create a huge impact along with some country touches. This Grandin Road Garland that I purchased this year is definitely a great find. I added different types of vintage elements such as dried fruits, florals, and berry picks. For my lighting, I wanted to add these galvanized houses that I purchased from Joann's and also some of them are thrifted. I wanted to add some more warmth texture, so I purchased these Amazon LED candle lights. I love the realistic flame. They're gorgeous. I always love a good thrift bargain. These bells were definitely one of them. They were $5 and I also picked up this vintage mirror at the same time. It was a steal of 10 bucks. One of my favorite hobbies is to collect silver platters. I love a good hunt. They're very inexpensive. You guys can find them at Goodwill, Salvation Army, and also antique stores. This picnic basket is so precious to me. It was used in our vow renewal. To add touches of Christmas, I added more of those wicker presents. This Santa Claus is a gift from my mom a couple Christmases back. She made him. He's actually one of those Hobby Lobby kits that you buy. He turned out really woodsy and cute. Welcome to my bedroom, the last stop of my Christmas home tour.
When decorating my bedroom, I wanted to be inspired by that French country cottage look. So when I chose my bedding, I saw this dusty blue bedding from Wayfair. It definitely screamed that beautiful French country feel. I wanted to keep my pillows very simple this year along with my vintage touches. This snowflake pillow was the perfect match. It was from Home Goods. I wanted to do something unique and different for my lighting in my bedroom. Something to be inspired with that French country look. When I saw these dusty blue bird cages from Hobby Lobby, I knew they were the perfect fit. I asked my dad to add a simple light kit. He did just that and he picked up this vintage inspired look. I love adding different types of textures for the holiday season. This year I use eucalyptus and a beautiful, unique bronze ornament. The space I get to play with the most during the holiday season is this shelf. It's painted with Annie Sloan chalk paint and I just added knobs. I love to add different types of holiday textures and elements such as this stocking, it's from Hobby Lobby. I also wanted to keep that French country look by adding different types of brass items that I've thrifted over the years. I was looking for an item to hang on this wall to match my duvet set and one item that my mom gifted to me was my grandmother's plates. I could not believe that it was that French country blue. It matched so perfectly and it holds such a special place in my heart. To add warmth, I got this gate from Long Beach Flea Market for $5. I added some eucalyptus and more pine just to draw in those winter tones. I wanted to keep my side tables very simple. I asked my mom to make more of those paper flowers that she does for a hobby. These beautiful poinsettias just turned out so perfectly in this space. I wanted to keep my tree very natural this year, just with a hint of sparkle. Adding those different types of bronze tones along with pine cones with a backdrop of candlelight glow just made everything come together. I also love adding my vintage items such as my books and also this brass bell. I always wanted a fireplace in my bedroom, but and since there was no space, I had to get creative. I found this dresser and I just flipped it upside down just to make it look like a mantle.
I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really enjoyed this home tour with you guys. If you guys have any questions in regards to any of my decorations or anything that I might have missed, please visit me on my Instagram page at My Simple Valley Home or you can leave a comment down below. Until next time, friends, happy holidays and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!